The end of One Piece revealed. One Piece is a series that has been going strong for nearly two decades. And recently I have been coming to the realization that we have been getting deeper and deeper into the new world. Now that made me ask a question to myself, how will One Piece end? Now I don't really do videos on the actual One Piece, what it is, because I really don't want to spoil it for myself, so I don't want to do any research or predictions or even talk about the One Piece. But how will the story itself end? And that is the question today. Now some obvious things are the Straw Hats and their dreams, I feel as though they will accomplish their dreams. There's not going to be no plot twist where someone doesn't accomplish their dreams. I see Luffy becoming the pirate king, Zoro becoming the greatest swordsman, Nami drawing a map of the whole world, Usopp becoming a brave warrior, Sanji finding the all blue, Chopper becoming a great doctor and curing any disease, Robin finding the real Ponogate from the true history, Frankie shipped the thousand sunny sailing the whole sea, and Laboon, Brooke finding Laboon are the dreams that I feel like they will be successful in accomplishing their dreams. Now three fights that I really see going down will be firstly Luffy versus Blackbeard. These guys are so similar. It has been faded. You know this is destiny that Luffy versus Blackbeard, Marshall D. Teach versus Monkey D. Luffy for the One Piece. It's got to happen. I also see two other fights which revolve around the same character. Sabo versus Akainu. There's a lot of history there. Akainu killed his brother. Sabo has his brother Delfruit. It could be some sort of revenge. Or Luffy versus Akainu because we know Luffy was there when Akainu killed Ace and Akainu wanted to kill Luffy at first so the scar that Luffy has we know that it could be some history there so either one of those fights I see happening another thing I've been thinking about is the Marines I know the Marines are gonna be much different I see the Revolutionary Army being successful the Marines that we know today will be gone and there's gonna be new Marines and now I think the people who will be leading these new Marines just some characters off the top of my head Fujitora we know Fujitora is a righteous person he wants to abolish the warlord system he's seen all the abuse of the warlord system I want to say Smoker Smoker really seems like a cool dude you see him in marine 4 talking about what's happening why are we why are we doing this kobe was the emphasis of that he went crazy he went in front of that kind of, he didn't care about his life he wanted to stop the the meaningless bloodshed so kobe definitely and a surprise that i'm gonna say is x drake and people are like x drake why i believe that x drake is a really good person now i, I know people are saying what that what, what what kind of evidence do you have to say this we know as a kid he wanted to be a marine we know as a he's been a pirate he's been a marine he's been going back and forth and the way he like you see him uh, stop a killer in a Rujo fighting and he's now under Kaido but what is, his, what is his purpose under Kaido and I believe that he will be a part of this new marines I don't know how but I believe it will happen one thing that's going to be really satisfying is the celestial dragons yes the celestial dragons will be finished donezo these guys think they're better than everybody else they think that everyone else is like disgusting humans while we're higher we're, worse, we're superior they think, they're, they think they're gods pretty much they think they're gods they're on some next level stuff and honestly the celestial dragons like don't said they're gonna be brought down from their thrones and they're gonna be nothing and I remember in Fishman Island when a celestial dragon came they're bleeding and everything and the fishmen are looking like a little disgusting piece of crap that's how it's gonna feel when they get taken off their throne we're gonna be like so happy like look at these guys now I know how and now you know how it feels to struggle two things that I definitely see happening is the true history will be revealed so the void century and the will of D those two things are really big when it comes to the one piece story in general and those two things are gonna be revealed and the th things we find out about the past i'm telling you right now if you are reading one piece at that time you will be going crazy you will be going berserk and i'm gonna be shocked because the things we're gonna find out about the past joy boy the d will a d void century the hype is real why was the noah built Speaking of the Noah, I definitely see the ancient weapons being used at the end of the story because honestly thinking about it, the ancient weapons are used to pretty much destroy the world. The fear of the ancient weapons at our all time high. So these ancient weapons are definitely going to be in play. And honestly, when they get into play, we know some next level DC stuff is going to be happening. I'm telling you right now, yo, One Piece, the, the amount of destruction is going to be happening at the end of the story. It's going to be remarkable. One thing a lot of people don't want to talk about is Shanks' death. Now people are like, you know, Shanks is not going to die. He's too strong how is he gonna die and some people are like yes yeah, shanks death is pretty much 100 percent now me i'm pretty back and forth but i am on the side of shanks dying i know it's kind of crazy because shanks is in my top five favorite characters but honestly for the story to progress it just seems so right like seems so like if shanks dies it just seems perfect you know luffy with straw hat bringing shanks to straw hat like honestly if shanks dies of blackbeard that's gonna be amazing and finally this whole purpose of this video is for me to say this the reason why i see shanks is dying because we know that goldie roger was the first one with the straw hat it moved down to Shanks. 
then it moved down to Luffy. I believe the Straw Hat will move down to another character, and that character is the son of Shanks. Now people are thinking, how do you know this is the son of Shanks? This is the son of Makino. We know Makino and Shanks, you see the relationship they had, and honestly, when asked in SBS, Oda said that is probably the person's son. We're guessing it's Shanks. Look at the color. The color of the kid's hair is brown. Green times red equals brown. It's obvious it's Shanks' son, and I believe that Luffy will give the Straw Hat to Shanks' son to pass down the era, because it's all about inheriting wills and pretty much that's what this story of one piece is about the essence of inheriting wills when luffy drops down that straw hat it's gonna be mean more than when goldie roger did it or when shanks did it because goldie roger and shanks were not known as straw hat shanks or straw hat roger luffy is known as straw hat luffy that's his moniker so when he gives down his hat people are gonna be hunting down finding that straw hat it's gonna be like people are finding down luffy's son it's gonna be like when pete roger had his son pork is the and people are looking for it people are gonna be looking for that straw hat because that's gonna be a great treasure leave your thoughts in the comment section i want to see what you guys think about this end of one piece do you agree with me about shank's son being a vocal part in the end of one piece i know a lot of people might disagree but that's just my opinion so leave your opinions down in the comment section like and share if you enjoyed like and share only if you enjoyed and subscribe for more one piece videos i'm the legend mac and i'm gone